What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Little Big Cast. My name is Jeff Hawks, hey, Jeff and Hawks. with me today, we got two people at least. There's three of us. We can make you it know, work. Uh, it works. We're missing one. We're missing Rachel, but uh, you know what? We're gonna carry on. We're gonna I don't endure. Think she's missing. Us. She doesn't she's miss not. us. She's <laughs> missing so. having hair that is not being ravaged by humidity. Uh, that I know. You know what though? Despite being upset about her hair, I'll bet she's loving the humidity. I think she's probably and the beaches the beach. and the oceans yeah. and the moped rides. Yeah, and the, the moped rides and the late, the late, you know, sunset strolls down the beach. <laughs> oh, please, you know that she's playing video oh, games yeah. the whole time. <laughs> she, she's in her whole she's just like, room. why can't I find my DS charger? <laughs> oh. Man, that would be a disappointing way to spend time in Florida. We so I hope, I hope that she's partying hard. Um, anyway, though, this is episode 66? 66. 66. I don't have a computer in front of me because I left my laptop at home and went to work like a fool. So I'm I'm rocking it old school today, ladies and gentlemen, with the papers. As long as so, you stack them. Episode 66. My name is Jeff Hawks, like I said. Uh, with me, as always, Mr. Drew Tyler. Hey, welcome. And Dr. Robin Hazlett. Hi. Our own professor, professor extraordinaire. <laughs> um, so this is kind of a unique podcast. Every week, uh, you know, these these four friends try to get together and uh, jabber about a little bit of PlayStation yep. news, a little bit of gaming news, yep. and also. Um, I mean, just real life. Like we, like we mentioned, uh, we are a we are a family-friendly kind of podcast. Not in so much the content that we discuss or the words that we say, because sometimes the swears come out. <laughs> but it's games. But it's um, called life. I mean, this is a this is a pretty like robust as far as like having children at least goes. Like we're a child positive yeah. yes. podcast, I suppose. <laughs> um, a so yeah, so every week we kind of break down what we've been doing, what's new in our lives, where things are going, and what's uh, you know what games we've been playing. So does anyone want to go first this week? Uh, I can go first. Go first, Robin. Um, for my first, for being child friendly, uh, my small one is up in the control room oh, yeah. behind us yeah. playing Animal Crossing because I promised her that I would talk about Animal Crossing. Oh, okay. very cool. And she has done so much within Animal Crossing and spent so many bells that she has opened up a new shop. So basically, cool. she goes in there and so has, she runs that. She town. has played so much that As she is easy would say I, she runs this she's, bitch. She's that is mayor. very true. She is the mayor. I should have taught her how to like t t how to punch the buttons upstairs. She could have actually switched cameras while she was That'd like, be cool. Animal Crossing. Oh Maybe my next gosh! Week. <laughs> camera, 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 frantic, camera, camera. frantic! 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 <laughs> Everyone watching Twitch is having. Uh, <laughs> it's <laughs> over now. It's good. So she's been enjoying that. Um, I have actually been playing uh, Lego Jurassic World. Oh. Very cool. Because oh. I am a total completionist, and I, I just want the sensation of collecting the little coins and like seeing all the things rack up. And so my whole life, I've never collecting. played a yes. Lego game. Oh, it's, Ever. I like it mainly because I'm a, I'm very much the explorer type, mm -hmm. and you've played with me on Borderlands. Right. Like I have to loot every single <laughs> yeah. thing, and it's like you is that a are similar in that way? Do you knock down every, like I know in Lego like, like everything you break you get mm -hmm. so you break everything. Mm -hmm. yeah? Like one level takes me about yeah. like forty five minutes to an hour. <laughs> like, bam, bam! Is that a plant? Is that made of Legos? It's going down. That's funny. <laughs> um, and I uh, bought and played. Everybody's gone to the rapture. Nice. I'm tell us about it. How was it? I don't, don't tell us about it. Stop. I, okay, okay, okay. I like it. I'll say that. Okay. okay. I like it. Very and cool. we will get into the actual right, digging week. into it next week. next week. So, friends, come and play the uh, Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. Maybe one of us could stream it. I, I'm, I plan on it. I plan okay. On it soon. So every, every, every other week or so, we do an indie game of the week, and we've chosen Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. Everybody's going mm -hmm. to the Rapture. Everyone's got a Rapture. Everyone's gone to the Rapture. Everyone's gone to the Rapture. From so the Chinese room, who did Dear Esther. Yeah. Ah, ah. So if you want to join us in playing that, then let us know what you think about it on our Twitch and our, our uh, Twitters and our Facebook. Yes, our social links. And, um, oh, and Jeff. Scott and I got a gift for what? you. Get out. Happy birthday to Arrow and happy not getting peed on anymore. Oh, you got me like what? a a wiener blocker. Yes. No way. It's a wee block. It's literally called the wee block. You got that thing. I feel uncomfortable. I feel uncomfortable with where the hand placement of this adult is on the back of here. That's what you gotta do. That's oh my gosh. It's like diaper goes down and save Jeff now. That's amazing. And so it, yes, and it says crown jewels. <laughs> Where did you find this? This is beautiful. Online, oh when God. when Layla was little. That's so hilarious. Fantastic. I went into uh, Babies R Us and saw that, and I'm like, that is the most 
crazy asinine thing. That's so funny. I, 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 I can't even think of it. And then you're you're struggling like crazy. You're just like, yeah. I don't have boys, so go the for it. The only thing it doesn't cover is the bunghole. Oh. There is no saving you from that. There's no saving me from explosive Stitch diarrhea. Little extra, like, flat That's yeah. so awesome. Thank you so much. That's yeah, awesome. and that one, like That's Scott and I were awesome. on Skype. And we're just like, um, I don't know. I, I feel bad that Jeff is suffering so much. <laughs> I'm so glad that we don't have a little I'm on boy. a streak right now. Seriously, I haven't so been peed on in two days. <laughs> That's a streak? Two days. That's, <laughs> That's a record. That's awesome. Prior to this two-day streak, I'd been peed on every day. Continuously, Wait, like just really? every single time, and not even having to pay for it. Wow, I don't know. Like, I don't know what's changed, but it's going. That's good. It's, I'm becoming good. a more efi efficient, I guess, uh, diaper changer. So well, I'm feeling pretty good about it. There you're gonna be fine. You're yeah, there we go. It. I'm excited. <laughs> the crown jewel. Thank you yep. so much. Of course. <laughs> That's That's awesome. Scott, Scott was very sad that he couldn't be live in the chat. He's like, I want to <laughs> see Jeff's <laughs> face. <laughs> just the thought of like, like here's your little baby. I don't know. That's Fix. <laughs> I'll send you guys a picture. I, I won't be posting that picture online, but I'll send you guys a picture. I want to see the wee block in action. Yeah. Does it function? <laughs> Does it work? That's I'm not getting sprayed on. Um, oh, perfect. and the last thing that I figured out is that Lego games on Vita are terrible. So really? I, I had the Lego game for Jurassic World mm -hmm. on Vita, and they cut it not down even. so much oh. that it's not even oh. fun. Like, they stripped was down the content. It um, It was... It wasn't cross by i had the vita first and then you know bit the bullet and got the whole thing okay but the one for ps4. On ps4 yeah ps4 was just, it was just so much better than the vita and it was like well i kind of expect something like that but the content was so stripped down it was like wow. the, the levels took too 10 bad. to 15 minutes to run through i'm like nope robin needs stuff to smash <laughs> yeah i shouldn't do that no Rib. but can that's I, my so world can i, can I I mean, we're a conversational podcast, so sure. occasionally we kind of jump the rails. Do whatever you want. Let's jump. So I'm curious, like, what what kind of a game should be on the Vita? Like, what what Candy is Crush. what game? If you could pick any Pooping game games. to have on the Vita, what would it be? Because in my mind, so I'll give you mine. The, the first thing that I think every time I'm like, what game would I love to play on Vita? I would love like a Nino Cooney on Vita. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like a really like. And the reason I think it would work, and I, I feel like this is like a realistic game to put on there, because the, the graphics are so simple. They're beautiful, right, they're but really they're vector. very simple. Like, I'm not looking yeah. for these not hardcore, like, uncharted level graphics. Like, this I'd... is a very clean approach to mm -hmm. storytelling. Great story, great RPG, great world. I feel like that could do well yeah, something... in, like, a Vita environment. Yeah, like a, a Child of Light, a... Um... That's there now, right? I believe. I think it, I'm pretty sure it is. I, I could, Man, that's I, a great. Oh, and something like game. Valiant Hearts, or yeah, uh, That'd be, that would work. Valiant Hearts would be rad. Yeah, and s just basically for me, anything from Media Molecule. Yeah. I think <coughs> like something like Tearaway. It's it. They worked so well with Vita right. on Tearaway. Well, Media Molecule is kind of unique as a publisher yeah. as well because, I mean, everything they do is so weird. Right, mm -hmm. like everything they do is very out of the ordinary, very unique to the world that it's in, and so the the Vita kind of can capitalize on yeah, the, and what you can do with the Vita because of what's on the back, and yeah, so very cool. What about you, Drew? So yeah, that's, I, I don't, I think it's all pooping games. That's what I like to see on a Vita. Something so you don't like want anything that's like long, like that you've got to put long no. hours into. You want just short burst games that. Right, because I think when I do long games, I like to be like seated or like in in my house in my room. You mm -hmm. know, I like to be there. I could see it on in like a car ride for like entertainment long time, but usually I'm the one driving. So right. for me, I would if I had Vita, it would be the same as like Smash Time. That's it. I'd, I even put it on the back of the toilet, and I'd have a little chain so it could never fall in the toilet. It would just be like <laughs> a little like wallet chain that would come around the front. That's so funny. <laughs> and then it, it would never fall in. It would just get close. Yeah, the only time I've really seriously I've never, considered yeah. a Vita was when I was traveling a lot for work. Oh, okay. Right. Like I, I don't know. I would then rather just sit down and watch a, like play a, a big. Yeah. Yeah. I like a big screen. I don't know. That's just me. Sorry for interrupting. Oh, no, no. Drew, what about you, man? For What's my week? your week been? Um, I've, I'm, I'm still finishing the table, working mm -hmm. on the table. Uh, look, look good. Robin yes, saw it today. Yes, she I saw it. It's real. Cool. It happened. I forgot his address. Drew's officially so I drew a woodworker. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about a woodworker, but I did make, I made a really pretty table. Peach is happy with it, so I'm happy with it. We're all probably going to bring it in the house soon, Very so cool. that's <laughs> something. She's been putting the lacquer on it. Other than that, this last week has been like, it's like a minor depression. 
because school starting yeah. for the kids next week, which means that I have to go back to like get things ready for school, which starts for us the week after. Yeah. Right. I have classes that I have to prep for that I haven't really even thought about. It's like, Sometimes, what, yeah. am I, what, what am I going to teach? Yeah. Um, but High five. Yeah, right? Boom. <laughs> it's, it's like, what? <laughs> Uh, but it just means that that big list of things I wanted to do over the summer, like, right? It, it never like, like it's so many that still didn't get done. Eh. I was yeah. In fact, there was one night this last week that um, I'm doing an intermediate uh, course for for Final Cut Pro. I did one that's just basics of Final Cut, and and I put it on Udemy where yep. people can buy it. Right. So that's netted me that's 35, a good 40 bucks a month, which is good. Like a little, it's not quite passive. I still have to you know be there as a teacher. But um, I I proposed a secondary one, the intermediate one. Something I meant to do clear back. Can, in can March I ask you a question April. about Udemy? Yeah, yeah. Does anyone ever purchase like the full price? Yeah. Yep. Really? I mean, they do a lot. A lot of they do discounts. Tons they're, of those ten dollars discounts. Ninety yeah, percent of it's at least discounts, but every once in a while I'll get somebody to loop. Very cool. That's and it's awesome. all about pricing too, and they're trying to control that. But um, I'm also building it for another platform called Curious.com, which is kind of like Udemy, but it's subscription based. Hmm. And so you pay five bucks a month or something like that. Do you have you to be updating your content r more regularly though? Mm -mm. Like you, just, you build your courses and and. Oh, so they're just take paying the five bucks to take any course that's available. Yeah, so on it's there. full subscription. Oh, that's cool. On there. <laughs> and then you, as the as the instructor, have your own affiliate link. So anybody that comes in to take your course, you get more mm. of the cut from that five bucks, and anybody that you know comes in to that. So it's just again one of those places where it's like nice, nice to. Use what I know and, and to get a little share the share the knowledge. Absolutely, I've had a Very really cool. good uh, in exchange on YouTube where I have a lot of my class materials or videos on YouTube, and I've actually had people uh, this last month sending me emails to say, "Hey, I really appreciate your content. I'd love to go to school at Weber. My school teaches me some of this stuff, but I just feel like you explain it better. Like it's just it's been really like." I don't know, validating. So yep. I've enjoyed that this week, having good kind of back and forth, people, even advising questions like, what should I be doing in my senior year of college to get ready for this degree? And so it's kind of fun to be like, oh, right. you trust me. Right so on. that's it. Other than gaming-wise, um, trying to get in as much as I can. Lots of Witcher with Peach. So right I'm on. back up to where I was before I like stopped down and went back. So I slipped nice. through the, the horse and junior hideout. I did that without her, and now we're ready to pick it up and move forward. Very cool. Uh, so that's awesome. I love I love that game. Um, and then uh, last night was awesome. We played King's Quest with my girls, and that was we streamed that. So if anybody wanted to catch that, we were on my channel, Night 20 on Twitch. Rhythmic Ascension was in there chatting with us, and it That's was just awesome. fun fun to watch my girls problem solve. But the best part was <laughs> while we're one of, one of your friends dies, and in King's Quest is kind of it's not quick action, a lot of quick action right. stuff, but it's just kind of like point and click and a little puzzly, like oh well, I have this, will it work here? And some really funny puns. Um, one of your, our friends died, and we look back, and we're all sad. And I've got my girls, and I'm like, "This is a good time to teach about mortality." <laughs> I'm like, "Guys, aren't you sad? This is this is sad." And my little girl's like, "I think he's gonna come back to life." The oldest one, right? <laughs> and then the littlest one is we're looking back on this really shiny set of armor oh, that's laying the there, right? <laughs> right? She's she's looking at that, and she just goes, "Dad, I think we should take his clothing." <laughs> it's like out of the blue, everybody else is just like, "Oh, we lost a chaka." She's like. <laughs> Let's loot, loot it. Loot. <laughs> That's fun. That I like that. So. That's, That's awesome. That was a highlight of my week. So she's learning how to be a gamer. Very yes. Quickly. Yes. Okay. It's like, well, loot can't go everything. back now. So take what you can. There have yeah. been a few times in my gaming career that like w someone has died that I was supposed to be protecting, and I was like, ah, oh. but he did have that sword. But he <laughs> <did> <laughs> like, it's so not he did a have sword. Loss. Right. Well, great week for me. It's been fantastic. Awesome. My week. I gotta shuffle papers first. Oh. My week has yeah. been uh, has been just crazy. It sounds like it. Yeah. So um, at work, um, we we are prepping to move from a five thousand square foot uh, facility to a sixty thousand square foot warehouse. How? It's like everybody get a thousand square feet. Like, like, I don't I don't know what how, they're doing with us. We we're uh, we're moving into some crazy. weird. Um, yeah. The Dang I don't know. Much. The behind the scenes of the move is just freaking super frustrating and, and stressful and we're we're doing a complete redesign of the website and rebranding and you guys are doing way too much all at once it's it's a lot happening all at once but it needs to happen oh yeah we are yeah we're yeah. way behind it's it's been um it's been a v both a very like good and like exciting time to be there like we i've really enjoyed being part of the rebranding process and all this right, stuff right um, great experience. And so it's been it's been really really cool and it's been great. We just, we I got a new boss who has been awesome. Um, it's also been kind of frustrating though because a lot of the stuff that we're now doing and have been greenlit to do are things that 
the people who have been in my department for the last six months to two years have been trying to push to get done, and it when we've never been given permission to do it. Oh. It's always been red lighted, you know, like oh. can't do it, can't do it, can't do it. And so to finally have it greenlit and to have it, um, you know, to have the kind of floodgates open, it's both relieving and really a good thing and also really frustrating because now it's like oh we have a month to get all this crap done so that we can move into a new building be rebranded everything forward facing is done (laughs) and looks good um but it also it's been a very affirming process that like i came out of school with an education that's legitimate and that that makes sense because to to go into this rebranding process and go through it all with my boss now who has been given the authority to make those decisions he's like yep that's what we should be doing. Absolutely. So we, we kind good. of presented him with what we had brought um, forward initially that was denied. Um, and he's like, no, those are that's exactly what we need to be doing. That's what we're doing. Let's go forward with it. And so that's been a really positive experience for nice. me. So that's been work life. Uh, I mentioned that I haven't been peed on in two days. That's been a positive. This is a good, um, good but in role. the gaming world... Um, Let's see. So obviously Destiny still. I watched the Bungie live stream yesterday, which was awesome. Oh, it was so cool. So they they were showing off the Taken King, which um, still like a month away, right? September September fifteenth. It is like March, hype city. March for your me, calendars. Man. You gonna yeah. be sick that day? Oh. <laughs> no, because my boss, my new boss, plays oh. Destiny, so I couldn't take it off. You, you, there's no way. Who played? His name's Brayden. He's oh, cool. the guys that just yeah, he's brand new. Got brought in you. Yeah. Uh, so I. I told him so yesterday when I showed up. First thing I said, I was like, "Listen, guys, there's a I'm stream. checking out at noon. Like, <laughs> I'll be here, but I won't be. But here. I will be eating lunch <laughs> by myself with headphones on, not talking to anyone, because there's a Destiny live stream, and I got ridiculed for the rest of the day. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Lie. Um, but it was awesome. The Destiny live stream was really cool, and that's what our topic is going to be today. We're going to get into a lot of what was announced about the Taken King, some of the changes that are coming from year one to year two. Um, and I really like that they're talking about it like that, mm-hmm. like year one, year two, like separating it but in, in that respect. Um, I, I feel like it is it provides a lot more clarity than just like, oh, with the Taken King, we're doing this, or with the Taken King, we're doing that. Like, hey, year one, we did this. These are the mistakes that we made. These are the, the problems that we found as we progressed. Um, in year two, these are the things we're doing to address it, and and I really appreciate that. So I'm excited. I'm excited to get into Destiny today. Um, outside of that, I hopped into so I downloaded Journey, right, right. And I've got to tell you, I was pretty disappointed that I didn't have my white cape. <gasps> like my, did, my white robe that was is not true. there from PS3. It's and, not right. And so what I I thought a lot about it, and I was like, do I really want to play this game again? Because I love my experience. And then my daughter came downstairs as I was just walking through the sand. And uh, she was like, Dad, what is this? This looks awesome. And I was like, playing it again. <laughs> All right, let's I'll run through this whole thing. Yep. I, will, I will chase the white robe again with you next to me, and it's going to be awesome. And one thing that, that I f- just absolutely love about the, um, the PS4 version is the way that the sand moves whenever you call oh, it's out. Beautiful. Yep. It, it just looks ripples. so oh. good. Yep. Yep. Oh my gosh. It, like, I just want to stand in one spot and just be like, boom. boom. <laughs> yep. like to see the sand push away from me was uh, it's stupid that i care but man it was they did, uh, they did well no, and they like the well. thing that that got me was like your robe gets dirty as you right you sit down and you stand like my robe's dirty and then it it shakes Shake off, off whenever you signal them yeah so satisfying like, oh, pretty. super super fun i it's a game that is yeah very special to me and i'm i'm looking forward to taking all through it because i played most of yeah i, I mean i completed it before i think she was when did it come out i feel like i did it before she was even yeah, it was, born it was way way back yeah um what else have i done i did something else that i was going to tell you guys about now i can't remember and i can't remember was it, so ga- was it games was it games i think it was games destiny Journey. no not games not real games. life stuff <gasps> real <gasps> life <gasps> stuff no. holy cow Crazy so time. yeah claire and i are officially house hunting for the first time oh because we're tired of renting yeah, and yeah, yeah. throwing money in yeah, the I will look in my toilet. neighborhood and I'll find you something. Yeah. It is. If you dude, need help, you know that we know. That is not fun. Know. No. That is not fun. It's very stressful. I'm, I'm learning. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I, lo- I loved it, but... It's... <laughs> but I was the easy one that was like, I could do that, I could live there. Here's the thing. When you're poor, it's not fun. Dude, uh, that's true. That's Drew, true. Once you find If out, you don't know uh, Drew, he drives a Bentley. <laughs> yeah, so. that's... 
Yep. So house hunting for him is like this exciting. I forgot like, to mention that part of my week. Two, does it have two elevators? Because if it doesn't, I'm out of here. <laughs> my Bentley it got in a five mile per hour crash in front of my driveway and got totaled. So I am down to one minivan. Like it, like I just put seventeen hundred dollars into fixing the struts on that car. It's not a Bentley; it's a Corolla. But <laughs> and it's a He's twenty, lying. it's a twenty-year-old Corolla. Anyway, that was part of my week. We're down to one car, and that car got totaled with a uh, tiny little bumper bump. That and sucks. It's, it's out. It's out. Like the guy just called me yesterday and was like, "Yeah, this is about thirty-five hundred to fix." I'm like, "The car's not worth thirty uh, yeah. three hundred fifty. That's so. where that's where both of my vehicles yeah. are at right now. Mm. And so like Sucky. trying to decide like even if like that's a responsible <gasps> thing to do. Like everyone's like, "Oh, that's." A, you're growing up. It's time to, you know, you're 30 payment. years old. You should probably own the house you live in now. <laughs> Lie. And I'm like, yeah, but then I have to be responsible and for then it. Yeah, yeah it's yep. like If the, I can't the pay for it, broke. I can't just run away. <laughs> right, right. So true. we'll see what happens. That's been my week. And, uh, yeah, that's all of our weeks. God, and Rachel's in Florida. Busy. So let's, uh, let's kick it over to the news. All right. I got news. Hit it. Hey, everybody in chat. What's going on? Hey, you. Hi, Leo, friend. what's up? Leo wanted to know why we were all so poor and if we were all on drugs. Yes. Not on drugs. We tried to explain. Probably could benefit from being on drugs. You know, yes. But, but I'm not. <laughs> so I tell Pete that all the time. <laughs> you know, like meth isn't that much. We could get so much more done and we'd lose our teeth and then we'd Are we you guys on drugs? What is that? Are we behaving like we're on drugs? No, he's just wanting to chat. That's so interesting. He just wants to chat. And to whoever said I have moobs, I want to punch you right <laughs> in your freaking face. <laughs> yeah. If you listen to last week's show and then came here to call, tell me I had moobs after I said I was fat, I'm pissed off, dude. I think Glug's gone, but that was pretty funny. Oh, man, that was moobs. Funny. I don't want to hear that word. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, as, felt, soon man, as, I it, as soon as I read it, I was like... You did? <laughs> <laughs> I bet that's what he wanted, The too. rest of the... the rest, the, seriously, the rest of the show, I'm like, how can he... I'm like... Lean back. Lean, show on those pectoral. Look at that. Those are, not movies. Movies. No, those are not movies. Those are not movies. If no. I lean over, though. It's the shirt. I don't know. It's I'm the shirt. He's gone. Maybe you're just slouching. He's gone. I'd <laughs> I've never been so self-conscious. <laughs> I'm the fattest I've ever been. So he this, comes up this do. Yeah, you never do. That's I'm really using strange. I'm using this do and tomorrow's do so that I don't get headaches from not drinking energy drinks. I haven't yeah. had an energy uh, drink in three days. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Drink coconut water. I didn't know you were detoxing. It'll make the headaches go away. Really? Yep. Because I, I I'm, I'm quitting, quitting soda, and I'm going to start working soda, on it. Wait, soda, not just energy drinks, every, but soda. All soda. Yeah. The yeah. only yeah. exception to that rule, the only exception to that will be Cafe Rio's Dr. Pepper or Tona's Dr. Pepper. Okay, that's Tona good stuff. puts, like, cocaine in their Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Have you been to Tona? I, I haven't had their Dr. Pepper. I always get the Ramona, the little out. Japanese one with the ball no, in dude, it. That's what I get. Their Dr. Pepper, it's like someone put, like, the really? most amazing, like, no, I've little try this. blip of vanilla, but it doesn't taste like vanilla Dr. Pepper. It just tastes like a creamy kind of Dr. Pepper. Like a, it's someone needs to verify. It's like magic. I'm going down. I'm going is down. what it's like. Glenn's got a point. He has moobs. <laughs> <laughs> but he's running. Water. He's running. Uh, um, that's crazy. I did not. I, I, I did not. Really. Crazy good. Well, I'm just Definitely surprised that not out. only you're going off energy drinks, but you were moving at the step. I gotta, further. I gotta get healthy, dude. Yeah, I, yeah. it was. I the, told it was you. The visit to the doctor. It was a visit to the doctor. It's having a kid. Um, my brother in law is gonna start working out with me, so I got somebody to you do it with good, me. Good, good. That's Where always you good go? to have a teammate. Um, I don't know. They Facetime each I was other going and they snap, just lift. I was going to Snap April. Fitness for a while, um, but I've got a guy that lives like a block over from me that goes that has like a huge gym just out of his garage. Oh, wow. And so I might be doing that. I don't know. Hmm. Well, if you get I'm bored, I, I have the, the thing at Planet Fitness that lets me take a friend for free. So, oh. yep. So. We'll and there's talk. a new place that just opened up down the way here the called Cubex Cubicles. Thing. That looks so cool. I saw it. Okay, Cubicles. this is when I went to the movies to go and see, gosh, what was it? It was uh, oh, yes, uh, the Inside Out movie. Yes, they had a little like Cubex commercial. They had the little Cubex commercial. I'm just like, okay, yay, it's a fitness commercial. Like, <gasps> they're in little pods, and you run from pod to pod, so nobody can see you when you're struggling and being miserable, but you can still have all the access of all the equipment that you would need what at if the gym. So you drop something on yourself, nobody, and, and they know. couldn't find you. Nobody knows. <laughs> if a weight falls, yeah. does anyone hear it? <laughs> yeah. A little alarm goes off. There's been no motion in cubicle four for 15 minutes. <laughs> have you guys watched Silicon Valley yet? Uh -huh. There's a part of Silicon Valley where they talk about how things typically, how things, that there's a, a theory, like, I don't know if it's a psychology theory or, like, what it is, but basically, that if you don't ask, then something may have never just happened. Like, so if Oh, some, yeah, philosophy. If you ask, like, Drew, is your tire flat upstairs? If the, if the question is never asked and an answer is never given, 
didn't, it didn't then exist. it didn't exist. Yeah. Oh. So right, right. it couldn't have happened yet. <laughs> and so by asking, and you, wonder, you invite the bad thing to happen. <laughs> right, right. It's, yeah, anyway. I, I, yes. You should watch Silicon Valley if you don't watch it. In addition to All deep the other psychological things. thoughts, they also... Do the dual of they determine the D to F ratio, the dick to floor ratio. Oh in yes. Conf in trying to figure out how long it would take to jerk off everyone <laughs> at, at, at TechCrunch, oh. <laughs> disrupt. Okay, that's funny. I love it. Have I not shown you that? No, clip? no, oh I've I've funny. seen that clip. Oh, that, that is a really funny. intense, like mathematically sound, terrifyingly mathematically sound yeah. clip. That's hilarious. <laughs> would. Yeah, we'll get, we're moving on, moving on to news. We'll get back into there the show, folks. It's Drew's news, Drew's news. That was good. We could keep that. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just clip that. That's good. <laughs> yeah, do it. That was good. News number one, we got this. Darth Vader-inspired PS4 system has been revealed. Two Star Wars bundles coming out this November. Boom. So for those fans, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, we should all do that. <laughs> That's how you have to breathe <laughs> when you're doing Ashtanga yoga. <laughs> Is that it's part like of it? <laughs> Everybody yeah. do the Vader. So <laughs> do you do it out of your mouth looking. though? No. Hot yoga is all nose. No, it's it's all nose. But I have to make like I have to get past this filter. You gotta make the noise. Yeah, you yeah. Got pa he, he's no filter. This yeah. is no filter. Enjoy <laughs> it. Jeff is no filter. <laughs> no filter. Jeff. <laughs> so this uh, new Darth Vader inspired PS4 system is pretty sweet looking. It's kind of cool. Absolutely. It looks really good vertical. Like mm -hmm. I'm not sure how cool it would be you know, horizontally. Yeah, but I don't you think you'd see stuff. too much of it. But if you're up vertical, I mean, it just looks I will cool say this though. Out there. It looks like dog crap compared to the Destiny Collector's Edition. The white one. No, 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 no. The new one that's the coming new out. One There's a brand new one. There's a new new. Oh, the There's a new one and a new new. We've... Dude, we newsed on this like months ago. Yeah, guys. I remember. Come this. on, I remember because I remember. Oh yeah, the on. controller. The controller. Yeah. The controller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, that is probably the coolest looking PS4 That's that true. I've ever seen. That's true. And you should buy another one just for that. I've considered it, but I won't because <laughs> I'm trying to be responsible. Now the controllers too. If you if you notice, I on want this, a house and a PS4. On <laughs> in not in that order. The the Vader version has red buttons. Red oh, and white. Sweet, really? Like the thumbsticks. The thumbsticks are white, and the oh L1, so L2 cool. are red and blue. That's dope. That's that's kind of fun. It's got to know what you can get me for our four year. Aww. <laughs> Does it count if it's, there's a hiatus in the middle? Or is it oh, yeah. We're, yeah. yeah. She'll count it. It's like, eh, okay. it just didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to ask. Just, just running straight, straight through. Straight. All right, news number two, Rainbow Six Siege delayed till December. We used to have a delay of the month, like, or the week, like every week. Yeah. We uh, yeah. We're going to get that more as we so. approach the fall. Yep. We're going to hear well, more Well, the about funny it. thing is, like, you know, it's E3 happened. And so it's like, oh, look at all the games. Did guys, and now. Coming. Did you guys sign up for your beta access for this? Siege? I sent, uh, I sent a I thing through, the, if you sent through it to the me. Facebook thing. Yeah, I probably did. Oh, right, right, right. The beta. Yeah. So I don't know if it's still available, but if you're listening and you haven't got the, uh, the not Battlefield, the Rainbow Six Siege beta, if you go, if you Google like Rainbow Six beta rooster teeth, it was like a Rooster Teeth convention where they teamed up with Ubisoft to give beta codes to everyone that went. Oh, cool. And if you just say that you went, you'll get a beta code. <laughs> hey. That's easy. Pretty cool. A lot of it's a workaround. Yeah, so if you like Rainbow Six Siege, you're going to have to wait till December. It's a heck of a media audit. Yeah, it's, yeah too bad. Uh, news number three. This one I'm excited for, and somehow we're going to figure out a way to get there. But PlayStation Experience is not in Vegas this year. It's in San Francisco, right? So what is that? December... Early December, San Francisco. It's right at the end of the semester for us, which oh, makes yeah. it hard to get out there. But I am sure there's some academic reason for us to go to PlayStation Experience. The tickets are not that expensive. But like it's, it's the hotels. The ho Yes, but I know that in San I Francisco, you in can Frisco. stay on the street in, in a cardboard box for a lot cheaper than any hotel. Okay. Yeah. I have and you have friends in Frisco. Friends and family that live in Frisco. They can put up the whole team. We'll do it. And they could be a little bit They have a garage they can rent out. Yeah, that's all we need. That's all I just we need, need a sleeping bag and I'm good. <gasps> I was gonna say I have a friend. I have a friend in Frisco, but I haven't talked to him for six years. That probably wouldn't. You have work a out. student that just graduated that's in Frisco. I do. We should call. We should call Shaq. Hey, <gasps> that's true. We put us all up. Hey, what's up, Shaq? You know she's like eking out a living with like seven other roommates in oh, some yeah. hostel somewhere. Perfect. That's the only mm -hmm. way. Get, yeah, she's that's doing the only well way though. to survive there. Um, but that's exciting. I think PlayStation Experience is gonna be exciting. I love that they have their own thing. I I think I it's think I think it's great. Wonderful. That's wonderful. Uh, no, 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 news number five. Man, we are cruising, and there's no, no four. I skipped it. Here's how to sign up for the PS4 system software beta. 
So if you want to be one of those guys that gets the beta releases of this, the system upgrades. These were so cool. Yeah, this is what you have to do. Before they launch the next major system software update, they're running a little beta program to test the functionality, which is what normal big software people will do. Developers will be like, hey, we got to use this, and we got to stress test, you know, make sure it all works. Well, the, so, the funny part is that they, in the uh, I didn't hear of any beta testing that was open to the public for the last one, and the last one for the, for the upgrade for the... Um, that was kind of a yes, upgrade. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they big. had problems. There was something that had, yes, true. So this one, uh, we'll have the link in our show notes, but you can sign up on the PlayStation blog to be a beta tester there. You basically just need the PS4, an internet connection, a master account, and you, they'll decide. They'll decide. Um, ooh, if you're a member of the PlayStation Forum in advance, you'll need that to get access to the beta forums because as a beta tester, you've got you a feedback. To, yeah. <laughs> you've got a feedback. <laughs> I got things for nothing. It's not how it works. Yeah. This this works. This doesn't work. So that's very, very cool. Is it, are you going to do it? Are you going to beta test? I'll sign up for it. Are you brave? Yeah. Are you brave enough? I'll sign up for it. I ain't scared. It's worth talking. It's, it's worth doing it. Uh, mm. There's some cool stuff considering coming. Considering YouTube streaming. I mean, streaming if, it, if it jacks streaming. up. My destiny experience. <laughs> You'll write them for. I will lose here. my. <laughs> they, well, they will know. They I will lose, lose my big friendly giant mind. <laughs> <laughs> my BFG mind. I will, love your BFG will mind. Blow. I love so your BFG we'll see. Mind. All right, news number five. Fantasy Star. making online. a movie of BFG. Spielberg's doing it. Is he? The BFG by Roald Dahl. I mean, they've done the they've done the, the Peach. The giant, James and the Giant Peach was really well done. I love the style. And Ready he Player One. Yeah, he yeah. needs to focus on Ready Player One yeah. and get that right yeah. before yeah, he goes jumping into anything Gosh, else. Dang, I'm so excited for that movie. BFG is hard. Roll Dolls is it's, it's hard stuff. Yeah. Um, Fantasy Star Online 2 arrives PlayStation 4 in 2016. So if you like, and that's an old one, right? Fantasy Star Online. Yep. yep. The PH Fantasy. Fantasy. <laughs> How do you do it? Fantasy. <laughs> fantasy. <laughs> oh, fantasy. <laughs> so that's coming in 2016. Now, yep. this, is, this is fun. I think Rachel would like this one. In, in lieu of Rachel... Not being here, we'll just we'll celebrate for we'll her. Nod our heads. We'll nod our, our hats. Here, I'll I'll do the right. the subdued excitement that she always has. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Big Hero Six World confirmed for Kingdom Hearts Three at Very the D twenty three Expo that they just had. So they they announced Big Hero Six gets its own little world, which I think is really cool. That would be a very fun world to to explore if you have Baymax in there in the in the Kingdom yeah. Hearts Absolutely. world. I think that'd be my awesome. small Absolutely. one may explode. Yeah. So we, we have it at our house, waiting to watch it again. Because the girls want to see it again, and uh, as we're screaming through news, news number seven, um, Atlas USA can confirm that Persona Five is launching in North America this year. So. That's a pretty big surprise, actually. Right, because it's usually just been a well. So what they were expecting was a Japanese launch, right? A launch in Japan, 2015, but a launch in the U.S. not until like late 2016 is kind of what the rumor mill was suggesting. So this is pretty big news. That it's um, coming this year, Persona 5. Yeah, Persona 5 is going to be a huge title, and for it to be launching in the United States this year is pretty sweet. And I have not played any of the Personas. I don't, I'm, I, I'm out of that loop, but I, I hear good things. Yep. So uh, that, that's fun. That's a fun little update for us. Um, I'm going to have to watch those trailers and see, see what I think. See what I think about that. Final news, and this one blows me away, but yet understandable. Guillermo del Toro vows never to work on a video game again. IGN reporting that he basically, after getting burned on a video game back in, what, 2012? Yeah, what was it? Was <sighs> it Fear or Darkness or, like, well, it wasn't Fear. Number. Fear was a different one. But he, oh, he no. had been doing an original game. Like, he was doing it by himself. And uh, the THQ. plug got pulled. Well, yeah. THQ, THQ went, went out. under. They went under. They yep. Right. Disappeared. And that wasn't, like, hey, we're going to totally burn you on this. It was, like, we got nothing. Yeah. Like, right. Boom. Oh, it was called Insane. 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 But then, then the most recent PT and the Silent Hills like pre it was going to be the Silent Hills follow up. The eruption the eruption that occurred between Konami yep. and Kojima. He got caught ah. in that. It kind of seems like he feels like he's cursed. I think like, I that think that's what it comes across as. And, yeah. and you know, at first, touch it. at first glance that's like that's a crazy thing to think, but you have to understand, like, in order to write the stories that this dude writes, he has to be a little that bit crazy. <laughs> yes, he seriously, yeah. and, and like he has to believe in the sweet endings, and he has to be like he has to. He has to be able to believe. I did I not th when I when I shook his hand. I never saw that in his soul. I should have looked deeper into his eyes and been like, "Are you really dark in there?" But knowing what he comes up with, yeah, I should have been. A I'm more a little afraid. scared that I you're trying to look into people's <laughs> well, souls I when you shake their hands. Their I didn't, but I should have. <laughs> there, that's the one I should have looked into. <laughs> but uh, Drew yeah, has skills nobody even knows about. <laughs> I'm not a soul that, looker. That's scary. I'm not a soul looker. But my friends, that is the news. The news. Okay, um, okay so.
Enel Misu. Enel Misu. What are your thoughts about the possible economic crash start as of now in the in, in the slash in the coming month? Uh, I don't know anything uh, about the possible incoming economic crash. Yeah, it's about what what I do know one. is that I've got a year of wheat and rice. You're going to be fine. And water stored in my house just in case. You have a what? Of what I, and I have what? A, I have wheat and rice, supply. man. Yeah. You know what I have? And I have uh, like a shiz ton of uh, I need water. MREs. Oh, see, that's what I've got. I've got the dehydrated, not MREs, but dehydrated food that's good for about, i got four months worth I of that. i got, like, legit MREs, like, military-style MREs. <laughs> that every you just squirreled had, away every time every you had something? Every single time I had an exercise in the military, I was like, I'm going to eat as little as possible because it's disgusting, and then just take it out and throw it and in the, the food storage. Food storage. That's good. Yeah, so, we're going to be fine. Yeah, it's always important to prepare, LMC. be ready for uh, anything. Yep. So, yep. Yeah, if that, as Weggs... Uh, what was he talking about? Buddy passes. I want some. Where are we going? Oh, to San Francisco. He'll fly us out there. Oh, what? He's just, I don't know how many buddy passes, up, but we won't do that. Nah. See, I, I asked him about that. If I could, you know, go to Albuquerque so that I could go and see a Foo Fighters concert. But oh, no. No, but if we're going for games, it's okay. He'll yeah. figure it out. All it's right, okay. buddy pass it. I see how it is. It's all right. You know, I'm, I'm totally thankful for whatever you want to do. And now we're into the new releases. <laughs> the new Wags. releases. Wait, hold on. Wait. Oh, Wags, I can live off my fat for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, apparently. I can live off one move at a time. <laughs> Dude, you don't words. have whoever I said that. I'm going to choke you. I'm going to find you and I'm going to choke you because all, right. all we're going to talk about from this point on. <laughs> Every poor week, Jeff. How's the moves looking? <laughs> like, sup? How you doing? My name's Jeff. <laughs> yep. Anyway, new releases. All right, new releases. I'm going to try it in a little bit of a different format because if I try it, if I keep repeating the names, I will trip over them so badly. So you're doing something new. Cool. So you I'm do gonna, it. I'm, you I'm do trying you. to do something a little bit. Rachel does Rachel. You do you. Yep. Okay, so what, how this is going to work is I'm going to read off PS4s, and if there is a cross-buy or if it's over on PS3 or Vita, I will mention if it's on PS3 or Vita. Because I can say PS3 and Vita without going uh, like the blaze blue and I figuring out how here. to. Yeah, blaze blue, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I, know, I, I <laughs> see, exactly. That's what I mean. I just like getting Rachel on that one every time. You're such a jerk. Go. Okay. So, new releases for PS4 are The Adventures of Pip, Arcade Archives, Bomb Jack, The Bridge, also available on PS3 and Vita, The uh, Color Guardians demo, which is also on PS3 and Vita, Curses and Chaos. Also on Vita, uh, is it Guyana Sisters or Gianna Sisters? I don't know if it's a soft G or a hard G. Wow, that's a, hard, that's a tough I one. I know. Gianna, um, Gianna. Gianna Sisters, Dream Runners. I'm going G. Yeah. yeah. Helldivers Gianna? Super Earth <laughs> Ultimate Edition. Wow, Super Earth Ultimate Edition. How like hardcore extreme can you get wow. with this? Also available on PS3 and Vita, which that I will, is hardcore. It's I will cool. mostly, most likely be getting that. And that one I think works well on Vita. I think that's a really solid one on Vita. Yeah. Um, Pure Hold'em <laughs> Volume. Oh my gosh, so excited. So excited for another Mike Bethel. <laughs> and I don't even know what Volume is. What is Volume? Uh, volume is a, uh, it's kind of like a Robin Hood stealth. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you're trying to bring okay. down an evil corporation because, you know, you're awesome. It's Very like cool. this digital Robin Hood. And last one on new releases for PS4 is Zombie. Exclusively for Vita is Dungeon Travelers 2, The Royal Library, and The Monster Seal. The Quiet Collection and Resident Evil Revelations 2. Do you think that's like a seal, like a water dog seal? I... Claire, the, Mer, the, Olive calls seals water dogs. You the know that, yeah. Monster Seal? No, no, no. That's like, that's like... I think that's I like, a like, seal, like the, the seal, seal of seal. like yeah. seal of monster approval seal. kind of thing. What if it was a monster? If it was seal? a monster <laughs> seal, monster I would. The ro- that's a wall, like that's a walrus. monster <laughs> lion seal. <laughs> that's so fantastic. That would be awesome. Wait, they actually have a game coming out called Zombie. Zom- zombie, yes, with, with one eye, not an E. Yeah, but still, that isn't it's it. It's a little less creative. Well, isn't Is this that the in one like that you can come up with from Zombie U? Just What's called it? Zombie on the PS4. Zombie. It's like Bambi with a zombie. I, I read somewhere it's that a deer Zombie U. I read somewhere that Zombie. This <laughs> a deer hunting game. I read somewhere that Zombie U from the Wii U was going multi-platform. Oh, I'm looking. At so maybe that's zombie. it. Zombie. It's on Steam with the new stuff. The one, two, three. But four, if five they combos, branded three, themselves no, as no. Zombie U, this is then Zombie U. I don't think. Is it? I would zombie? think this would mention. Because it takes U. place in London. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. There you go. Good call. Jeffrey did it. Really? Jeffrey can retire a happy man. The dollars won't be tenor for combat. Mm-hmm. 
So that one does not get my my recommendation. Nope. Volume does mm. because Thomas was alone is a fantastic game dealing with only little like rectangles. Yeah, that was great. It's so cute. That was a great game. It's fantastic. I was attached to a little polygon. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> yep, that is it. That is it for Very cool. new, I think new it's releases. <coughs> Micropons 12. Is chat red? It is red. What's yes. up, dude? We take breaks. What are you going to talk about? Uh, is it micropons? Micropins? Pin, 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 micro micro pins? Micro penis? Micro crop. My, it's my crop news. He's an agricultural guy. Wow, that's totally it. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's it. Am I croppins? I'm... <laughs> <laughs> my, my, cr my yeah, welcome, welcome. If you have any questions, chat it up. We do take a quick break here before we go into the actual topic of the show, which we're probably going to, I don't know, that next topic's going to take us like 40 minutes. I'm just going to blast through it because so I've, I've only is got all of this, have fun. I've only got 20. Is it all out of the stream? Like new stuff from this? This is all new. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to go. Oh my go, gosh, I'm really? Like, boom, boom, bam, 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 No, it isn't. Are you serious, Micropen? Oh man. I, yep. It's pronounced micro penis. <laughs> I was wondering if that was what it was. That's hilarious. I've never played a next gen console. You should get a PS4, dude. We're, we are a PlayStation centric podcast. But many, many but, of us, but, many but of us we play embrace. Both. Yes. We embrace yeah. uh, all consoles. We're not like an actively hateful like right, towards right. other con like no. earlier just, we, today we talked about uh, the freaking Nintendo thingy. Yeah, the DS. The DS. Yes. There you go. There you go. We yeah. I, yeah, I Rachel's, much Rachel's very Nintendo. I play pretty much exclusively PlayStation products, but um, I have people that I care deeply about that play Xbox. So. And we still yeah. love them. And I, yeah. I still play, like, the, the 360. I haven't jumped the... You haven't, I haven't totally jumped the shark? I, I, I can't get into the Xbox One. I mean, I've, I've played there's with it. There's nothing there I've that interests it. me. It's just... I That's my problem. Is that, I mean, right now, there's nothing there that interests me. Micropanus, if you want to fund America... Nobody here makes games. If you consoles. want to fund America, yeah. nobody makes games. Start nah. with okay, our GoFundMe. True, true, but yeah, yeah, you say fund us. We'll tell you all the good stuff. Get your games. Bye. Well, not our GoFundMe. We have a Patreon. Jeffrey's tired because he hasn't taken his five energy drinks today. <laughs> I don't You'll mind not okay. anyway, money to Gatesy. I'm excited for this topic, guys. Okay, so let's get back into it. Chad, thanks for joining us. Topic. We're going into the topic of the week, and it's, it's a deep one. It's We're, a deep one. In fact, Micropenis With a capital it. D. We're talking about the big D. The big old D. The deep, deep. All right, so 27 major changes coming to Destiny in the Taken King. So many. Everyone that's listening to the show, if you've listened in the past at all, even a little bit. Did you bit, just cross yourself? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Even a little bit, you know that I play a little bit of Destiny. A little bit. I play myself some Destiny. All Here's the time. what's interesting, though. I found out that of all the people that I play with, I have one of the lowest Grimoire scores because I'm not, what? like, chasing random achievements. I'm very purposeful in my approach to Destiny. Like, number one, I want to have fun. <laughs> And I like getting loot and stuff, but like I don't want to. I don't want to do things that are like killed two thousand ogres. I don't want to go spend right, all right. that time. So I'm so distracted. It's I, like, oh, it's I've shiny got people done. that have paid, played way less time than me that have a higher grimoire score than me that are now trying to teach me how to play the game. Talking to you, Zerg Rush. <laughs> you oh, get out of here cute. with that knowledge that you think you've got. <laughs> anyway, twenty-seven new things. I'm gonna read it like the news. Twenty-seven major destiny changes. In the Taken King, tonight at nine. <laughs> in in the Philippines, do you want to know how they would say it in Tagalog? Yes, I do. Actually, yeah. Mamang gabi sa bente kwatong oras. Later yep. tonight on twenty four hours. Sa sabi nsa sa yo yung mga yung mga bente siete what? Dalom dalom put what? Man, it's been a long time. Dalom put. I know Tagalog in sign language. That's it. Mamang gabi sa bente kwatong oras. It's some pagkaka. It's twenty seven major destiny changes. <laughs> I don't even remember <laughs> any of those big words. All of our viewers just ran away <laughs> crying. Um, okay, so number one. If you're currently level 34, you will start the Taken King as level 34. That's a big one. I, that's that is I a bought, big one, guys. I bought Red Bull just for Because, uh, yeah, if you had done that and then not stayed at 34, it would feel like you went backwards because you would have, and that would have <laughs> sucked. Um, a new sword weapon called Arc Edge was shown. It allows you to defend using L2 and is effective against solar and void attacks. But it is a less effective against arc attacks. Dun, dun, dun. That's interesting. Somebody stays up at night to think. While in the tower, you are able to equip any item that you want to be shown as you move around the tower. So on your back, you know you have your primary weapon typically showing. Mm -hmm. You can now switch between all of your different weapons so that you can show off whatever weapon you want. <laughs> can I get a clear backpack? 
If there is <laughs> a cannot. clear backpack weapon, you cannot get you a can. clear backpack. No, because all I'm thinking is like you know, Fast and Furious. They always have like their rolls on the back with, with little clear backpacks. Uh, let's see. Uh, there, 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 there that is go. true. No. We can make a suggestion. No. There you go. Um, but no. yeah, so if you have like the Galahorn that you want to be showing off, the Which I just barely got this week. <coughs> so Did I you get it? I got it. Level that ish up because it's about to it. get nerfed. I'm gonna need it. Yeah, that's probably that's probably what's gonna happen. Level it up fast. Um, it's a fun weapon. Anyway, uh, ghost shells now have special features like the ability to help you find a spirit bloom, and it affects your stats in intellect, discipline, and strength. Ghost what? The ghost. The ghost. Right. Little yeah. ghost shell. The, you can change the shell now. Oh. And so the new shells have new perks, and they look different. So like the ones you buy in Crucible are like dark with neon lights. Have they had this before? Like, like no. actual changing out sh there shells? There was one other shell yeah, that was available if you had, I think, pre-ordered, and it was a collector's edition. Uh, so like I have that shell, and it doesn't look that cool. Uh, it's not that interesting, uh, and it doesn't do anything for you perks-wise. The new ghost shells all will do perks, which is pretty freaking sweet. That uh, makes the ghost a little bit more worthwhile. Yep, totally. Really. Your new light level system is an adv is an average of your attack and defense across all weapon I or excuse me across all equipped items, including your ghost shells and player artifacts. So if you're a warlock and you're wearing an armband, the defense level of that armband will affect your overall light level. Uh, your strength, intellect, and discipline stats are now more clearly shown on the interface and include a cooldown time of your abilities which is pretty freaking rad, right? So Agreed. basically what you're able to do now is if you equip a new loadout and you want to know how long it's going to take you to get your uh, super back up, mm -hmm. it's going to actually give you a time. So, you know, 45 seconds so to I'm super. So not staring or, at yeah. it the whole so time. So you're like not just guessing, right? Because right now if it says 100%, right. who knows if that's one minute or five minutes? Nobody knows. And so um, it's just going to give you a little more clarity as Finally. far as that's concerned. Finally. Which is pretty cool. Uh, you can now hold 32 quests in your inventory at one time. <laughs> That's a lot. Quests can now be turned in at uh, any time in the game. Quiz time. What was it before? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> quests can now be uh, 10. Because really? it included really? bounties. Uh, I might be wrong. Right, That's a lot. Quests can now be turned in at any time. No word on the app yet. So... Anytime you complete a bounty, you can just flip it you out. You can just like, instantly turn it in. You get your XP boosts. You get your uh, experience nice. points added to your factions all straight away. So that guy that stands down in front of the big board. You don't have to do that anymore. You don't he's have to out of a him. job. You only go to him to get the oh, bounties. To get the oh, so you still, still go to him to get okay. the bounties, so but you don't turn them into him demoted. when you're done. Yeah. Vault he's space will be doubled for though. weapons. Vault space weapon uh, slots include to, or up. Blah, 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 they what? increase to 72 slots. Armor also has 72 slots. <laughs> and for general items, formerly known as inventory, you'll have 36 slots. Man, I love slots. Uh, if you buy the Taken Ashley King, Madison. you can automatically level to level 25 using a special item called the Spark of Light. This will boost your minimum level to, of the Taken King so that you can play with your friends. That's cool. That so is cool. Scott, if he doesn't want to grind, it'll take him to that. Which I miss instantly. him in the chat today, just so he knows. Yes, we miss Scott. But that, that's fantastic. <laughs> distracted by the chat. Yep. Somebody in the chat, chat is, is, is lo it. loving on Jeff. Collections will keep track of exotics, ships, emblems, and shaders that you have collected and let you know which you still have not acquired. There will also be a d brief description of each and how to, how to acquire them. Ah. So basically there are now like actual or? locations in yeah. the tower that uh, when you go to them, they will give you a breakdown of everything that you have. So all of your shaders, you don't have to keep them all on your person at all times. You can actually delete them. They will be saved in this collection, oh. and you can just go grab them anytime you want. So they're putting your persona so it's like online. A second, it's almost like a secondary vault, Okay, which is very cool. Uh, factions must now be pledged to and can only be swapped once a week. Oh, once wow. you pledge to a faction, you will gain reputation for the faction and for the Crucible and Vanguard as well. Okay, okay. So, so you will not around. be turning around. You will not be turning in um, a dead orbit bounty and only getting dead orbit you XP. Get you will be getting Dead Orbit and, and Vanguard, Vanguard. Okay. which is very cool. But you got to pledge a week at a time, which is in that's interesting. Right. I like that. So if you don't change your pledge, it'll continue. But if you say or pledge to Dead Orbit and then in a week want to go to New Monarchy, you have to wait a week to be able to do that. Yeah. Okay. So it okay. will re-pledge automatically or maintain that pledge Same automatically. Same thing with the Bloods and the Crips, I hear. I that's have no true. loyalty. Yeah. No, no. I yeah, you got no to you got to pay. You got to stick right now. I'm uh, I'm New Monarchy. Are you? Yeah. I didn't. I did not see I that. I did not coming. know. Wow. I didn't pay you for that. Because no. they are all red. 
<laughs> and You're that's, awful. That's why. And that's why. What else? Um, a faction reputation gained in year one will carry over to year two. Okay. So if you are level 30 in the Crucible, like I know Drew is. Yes, I am. He will continue to be level 30 in the Crucible Okay. in year two. Okay. Which is, that's good, because I worked hard for that. Which is pretty cool. I suck at the Crucible. Mm. Reputation packages acquired for gaining it's levels great. of factions yeah. in Crucible are now guaranteed. Guaranteed, guys, to deliver a legendary. And will have an increased chance Finally. of dropping a shader. Vanguard and Crucible marks have been replaced with legendary marks. Like There's now no cap on how many marks you can acquire in a week, and they are shadered. They are shared across all characters. That's freaking awesome, guys. That's awesome. That is awesome. That is Wait, didn't because you just, oh, here's why it's so awesome. Confusing. Jeff, where would I because be without Drew you? Drew currently has a level what 27, 30, 31. character. A level thirty-one character. It's okay. been a long time. We so you've got seen a thirty-one for character, a while. but you don't have a second character. No. Correct. Uh, so no. if you hypothetically were yeah. to use that spark that we discussed earlier yes. to level up a new character to twenty-five, right? Because right. it won't do anything for your current right, character. So he's already there. So you might as well get a new character Bing out bong. of it. Automatically go up to thirty-five. No. Normally, in year one, oh, oh, prodigal that son. person would have to be grinding for crucible and vanguard right. marks. Right. But now, neither of those exist. There's only legendary, legendary marks, marks. Yeah. and they are shared across all your characters. So, shared. if your other character like already has two hundred, right, right, he can hand over. He can hand them over to the other dude. That's good. Who needs that's to good. buy new gear? Because so you can level up even faster. The second dude that's coming in, that's going to get the bump to twenty-five. He's going to piss off somebody that's been working for a year. I mean, this is totally like scriptural, biblical like yeah. story, right? I worked for a year to become a 31, and all of a sudden you step in with a little spark. And you're just Bam, you're, you're yeah. bumped up to 25. That, that happened with World of Warcraft. There's no There's way that... Riot. Right, right? Yeah. My, 20, my, my 31 is not going to share his legendary <laughs> marks ever at all. Anyway. Um, let's see. Where yeah, this is off? hard news. I'm, I'm New quests and today. bounties have been added to the rotation. And completing all five weekly bounties will grant you a Nightfall tier reward. So in addition to the new daily bounties that come out, right, there are weekly bounties. At the completion of all five weekly bounties, which will be work, it will take work It'll to take, achieve yes, those. You, I tell my uh, kids that all the time. That, it's going to be work. work. You once work. you do that, you will be able to get a Nightfall level reward. So exotics, legendaries, uh, tons of strange coins, worth et cetera, et cetera, All that work. Et cetera. I tell my kids all the time, and now video games are backing me up. Dismantling a legendary stuff. item will give you legendary marks. Meritocracy. Exotic blueprints allow you to That's regain perfect. anything you've lost using oh. the new collection system. Oh. Exotics are also shared across all accounts. Wait, how do you so, lose things? Let's say you deleted it by accident, oh. or uh, your wife was pissed, or your daughter got into your account deleted that weapon that exotic or you, you share so hard you share for. played with somebody you share played yes. and someone deleted <laughs> all of your trust ish. issues because of like that. that kid right yep what's gonna happen now is this kid is gonna go log in when year two starts and he's gonna go to this kiosk that's blue exotic blueprints every single one of his exotics is gonna be there waiting for him oh, it's like and the rapture he's gonna be right able to grab there. it and pull it right yeah. out Coming that's back. pretty awesome that's awesome that's awesome they're thinking they're thinking now that's big uh, dismantling a legend. I did that one. Same, some year one exotics have been upgraded to level or year two exotics. No, is this Not real all year exotics. one, year two, or is this like fake storyline year one, year two? This is your. This is real year one, year two. Okay. So some year one exotics have been upgraded to year two exotics. Some have not. Oh. So some favorites actually have not. The Yallerhorn has not got a year two upgrade. So it's a nerf. So it oh. will stay at its current level forever. Mm. But the last word, for example, in the yes. Soros regime, uh -huh. both of those have year two upgrades. And they are, they look new. They have a new skin on them. They mm. look dark. They look like tainted by the Taken King, maybe. Oh. Um, they look very they hardcore. And the perks have changed. They've improved a little bit. They've tweaked them just a little bit to make it a little, a little bit cooler. You almost have to. It's very exciting. Doing stuff. Uh, not all exotics are upgraded to year two. While damage levels have been normalized, all weapons you currently own will not be losing power, even though their numerical damage values have changed. That's a really weird way of saying, like, the values are changing, but the damage output is not changing. How is that? But how so is it's that like, even... So it's like math? converting... Well, the way D they described F. it would be converting euros <laughs> to USD. That's the math I can think of. Oh, converting okay. euros to USD. It's the same amount. It's just new number Technically. System. It's just a different numerical okay. value. Well, I can understand that. Okay. 
Um, the Cryptarch will sell legendary engrams for legendary marks that guarantee to turn into legendary weapons. That's big. The gunsmith will now allow you to take weapons into the field and try them out. So if you wanted to try out a new gun, he'll let you rent them from him. You can rent them Rent? Out? This is a big deal, folks. Wow. After all this time. Yeah. Wow. I tried to ask it's him the first like couple of days. He wouldn't even think about it. For all year watches. two, legendary and exotic weapons. Jeff's just pushing through. Uh, there is like new infusion jokes. systems that will allow you to consume a, powerful, a more powerful weapon to boost the attack value of the weapon you've chosen. That's interesting. So let's say I have a can cannon that I really love, right? Can cannon? I love the can can. <laughs> oh, hand can. Dun, 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 a dun, hand dun. cannon. Oh, hand cannon. People. I do a love hand, hand cannons. Cannon. I do love hand Let's cannons. Let's say you have a hand cannon that you really love, right? I've got one. Like and that. Uh, leave it, leave it alone. <laughs> the property like that one, like the dildo, Mike. Bam. That's. Um, let's cannon. say that you. Let's say that the, the damage output it's on that weapon is one ninety, but you have a weapon that you totally hate that right? does two hundred. Right. Right. With the new infusion system, you can d. I can pull you can out destroy of the 200, sure the level 200 weapon. You can destroy it, and the attack value will be added. What? To that one. Who came up with this idea? It's a great <laughs> way. A sign? I'm a it's a scared. great way of allowing people and players to upgrade the weapons they love without with, right. without having to compromise like the what perks and what they love about that weapon. Does it have to, to be switch over to something more powerful? Like hand cannon to hand cannon? Nope. It just has to be more powerful. More powerful. So, so as long I as the have... damage output is higher, it's okay. a go. Cause, Cause this is something- So I, like a buy one get one? No, not no. at all. <laughs> Just, you never, go back to sleep. <laughs> I'm trying. No, it, so so like, I love hand cannons. Right. But I do have guns that are way more uh, powerful. Right. I could destroy one of them and transfer some of that and power. And infuse, infuse that power, power into your hand, hand cannon. cannon. Uh, I don't know how that works with like the physics and things. I don't know but either, but it's pretty cool. I would love to do that. And that, my things. ladies and gentlemen, is the destiny news of the day. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah that's guess what? huge. Next Wednesday, There's another more? live stream. We're going to have even more. Wow. <laughs> Welcome, the my weeks friends. up to September 15th are all mine. <laughs> I control the We're excited for topics. you. It's going to be awesome. I'm excited. No, I think it's good. I think a lot of folks that listen to LBK do so because of our, our Destiny-heavy content. They love us. We do like Destiny. And we play, we play a lot with a lot of them. Yep. So that's and awesome. if you're listening currently and you would like to jam with any of us, uh, we'll just wrap up by giving you a little bit of information yep. about where you can find us, how you can play with us, yep. and uh, yeah. So if you want to play some Destiny with me, I play Destiny all the time. All Feel the time. free to add me on the PSNs. My PSN ID is MRHOX, Mr. Hawks. And uh, I play Destiny a lot, so just send me a message. Let me know who you are that you heard about us on LBK. And if you want to jam, um, we do a lot of, uh, you know, end game PvE. P PVE specifically is where yeah, I, I thrive. PvP. I'm okay at mm -hmm. PvP. We can hang and we can. I, l I actually really enjoy playing PvP, but where we as a community, the LBK community, really thrives in end game PvE content. Yep. So if you want to raid, if you want a nightfall, all that ish, um, yeah, hit hit me up. Um, I'd I'd be happy to do it. With me, like I mentioned earlier, as always, Mr. Drew Tyler. Hey, I play, if you want to play with me, I play the um, more puzzly type of games. Uh, I hang out with my little girls often, so we play games like King's Quest, and I will be streaming the Rapture, but probably not with the girls, right? Is it girl, is it girl friendly? Uh, no, they swear. Yeah, they swear, yeah. So it'll probably just be me in the later nights, or, or Witcher with my wife. I might talk her into streaming one of these nights. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta interject, because you asked about the child in yeah, the yeah. game. Yeah, yeah, right, right. I, su I suggested a movie to a good friend of mine this week. It's called Man on Wire. It's one of the more... Do documentary movie about documentary, the guy, the bird, the tightrope walker. Tight yeah, yeah. It's one of the most inspiring shows I've ever seen. Yeah, I love it. It's one of my very, very favorite shows. I forgot that after he walks the tightrope, he goes and bangs a chick in a hotel, and it shows oh. news. And uh, oh. his little daughter was watching the show with him. He called you right up and was and like, he Cox. was like, dude, my daughter just told my wife that I showed her a nudie movie. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So. They always remember the worst parts. It's nice. like, no, don't you see the, the whole gist of this? It's like, that's hilarious. I remember the swear words in here. But that's, no, I, I get you. I feel your pain. Continue. I don't yes. recommend anything to anybody because I hate everything. But that's it. <laughs> that's where you find me. I, I twitch more once while on the night 20, and I, I play games uh, there. Um, and you, where do you, where do you um, play? Usually I am... Uh, doing things along the lines of Borderlands and actually digging through Tales of the Borderlands at the moment. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, usually you can find me at, on Twitter at Robin Hazlett. On Twitch, you can find me at Red Mages Unite. 
it's all one word. There's no crazy spellings. It's red mages unite because reasons. Because we do. Because we do. Yes. Because we do. And that's where you can dig me up. Very cool. And uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, I don't think I remember to say that. It's at Jeff Hawks. This person that normally sits here, it's a little Hispanic lady. Her name is Rachel. And you can follow her on Twitter at She's Pirate Rachel. She's a fireball. Rachel. That's yeah. Pirate Rachel with a three instead of an E. Yes. I love saying that. It's a great thing to say. <laughs> it just rolls it's anyway. three because it's but but if, what's funny is oh, like man. which e is it it's which the middle e, e of all the rachels it's the pirate three pirate three and before i forget and before we move on we got to give a couple shout outs oh, yes. uh to some of our patreon supporters who have been freaking yes. awesome some some new ones uh some old ones because y'all are beautiful specifically today i want to give a shout out to g fitz kimball yeah g fitz kimball thank you man we had a good conversation on the PSN. We awesome. we oh, chatted cool. back and forth for a little while. Awesome. He's a cool dude. He's going to have a kid soon. It's pretty freaking sweet. Oh, welcome to the club. So he mentioned that he likes that we talk about real life, and then yeah. we get into the fact that I get peed and pooped on occasionally. That's solid content um, right there. That's yeah, Gaming absolutely. does not exist in a vacuum. Methane right. cuddles, as always. Love Major methane. shout out to Methane. Uh, have you destined with ran, him? Yeah, we yet? ran last night. We ran through uh, the Nightfall, and then we played a bunch of PvP. But next week... We're gonna finish like up this year of all my triumphs. Go to the bar without me when they we're gonna that. finish up the yeah. des- destiny yearly triumphs, and we're gonna run through Skolas together, and it's yeah, gonna I be mean, a I brutal. Met the guy. It's I'm, brutal. It's yeah. it's rough, but I'm very excited about it. And rhythmic ascension. Yeah, that was awesome. Rhythmic ascension played games with us last night. Sat there in the chat and chatted with me and the girls, and my girls were coming up with crazy ideas because they have all these elements. And he, one of them was like, "Use the fruit picker to like pull yourself across the water." And rhythmic was like, "That's genius." So it was fun <laughs> to have that interaction. So very shout cool. out, thanks. And, uh, yeah, so that's it. That's the show, ladies and gentlemen. Before we close, though, we would love to invite you to donate to our Patreon. Yeah. Patreon.com slash LittleBigCast. Everything you see here, if you're watching the show currently, is not ours. Pretty much we got mixers. We got TVs. We got awesome cameras and lights, but none of them are ours. We'd love to have our own stuff so that we don't have to meet at a school. That's true. In a Th- basement. We like dirty, to in a mooch, dirty but library. not that much. We love <laughs> mooching, but not... <laughs> So much when it's a bunch of equipment. We want to own our own studio so we can have open flames. I think right. that's really the, o- yes. the goal, right? That's Pyro. one of the rules. Pyrotechnics yeah. Yeah. Is, is a must. Welcome anyway, to the show. If you, wanna, <laughs> if you would like to support us, <laughs> donate to it. Yep. Uh, we have some pretty cool perks that we give away um, as part of that deal. You know, it's important to note, though, that we love doing this, and we're going to do it either way. So yep. while your donations are appreciated and uh, encouraged, they are definitely not necessary. We love you anyways. Uh, and that does it. Ladies and gentlemen, for Who's episode 66 of the Little Big Cast, again, my name is Jeff. I'm Drew. I'm Robin. And we are the Little, Little Big, Big Cast. Cast. Thanks, everybody. Thanks a lot. Woo. All right. All right. We got to wrap it up, and I got to go. Okay. All right.